Hi friends, it's me, Elephants Are Tasty, and in case you're wondering if I've been dead, um, the answer is no. My computer, a couple days before RTX, my computer, like, we had a power outage and my login on my computer got corrupted, so I had to create a new login and things are working now, so London videos, I should be getting to work on those and finishing uploading them, but in case you're wondering why I keep staring at my computer screen, um, I looked at my results for my um, IB coursework to see if I was getting my International Baccalaureate Diploma and if anyone of you out there doesn't know what the International Baccalaureate is, think of advanced placement like AP courses in high school but basically on steroids. So you take really advanced classes like AP level, sometimes harder. You also have to do 150 hours of creativity, action, and service, which is like service hours, also on steroids. You have to do at least 150 hours of that. And then you have to do your IAs, you have to do your EE, your extended essay, you have to do TOK, theory of knowledge, which is like, um, I was about to say physics. It's philosophy, kind of. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff. And, oh yeah, the extended essay is a 4,000 word essay on a topic of the student's choice, but whatever. But anyway, so I finally, after like four days of results being out, I finally checked my IB, sorry about that. I finally checked my IB scores and I was like, I'm going to fail. Like, if I don't get this diploma, my life is over. But, okay. <laughs> I'm so happy that all of my hard work paid off because trust me, senior year was a bitch and like exam season was very like annoying. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got fives and sixes on all my IB exams. Um, so no sevens, but I didn't do worse than a five, which is great. Um, I got a B on my visual arts extended essay, which I wrote about JMW Turner, who you've seen in my London vlogs, and he's my history boyfriend. Um, I was kind of expecting to get a little higher than a B on my visual arts EE, to be honest. Um, my teacher, my art teacher, who was my EE supervisor, said it was really, really, really good. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> I'm not the perfect student, so I'm fine that I passed. Um, and my TOK essay, my theory of knowledge essay, I got a C on, but that's because, like, TOK was never my strong suit, and writing that essay was pretty annoying. Um, so I got a total of two extra points for my total score from my EE and TOK essays. Um, my total points for my diploma is 35. Um, I don't know where the max is, I forget. And my result is diploma awarded, <laughs> but I'm just looking at my s scores right now. Um, Spanish, which I took junior year, I got a six, so that was my first IB exam and I got a six and I was so excited. Um, excuse me, I'm doing all this in one take, so here's my ruby blanket that I bought at RTX. Anyway, um, so I got a six on Spanish junior year. Uh, let's see, English, literature, HL, um, oh, Spanish was SL, by the way, standard level, and then my English higher level class, which is two years, I also got a six on that which I thought I did like pretty well writing the essays, um, so I guess that's a good score for me. Bless the IB curve and bless the IB gods. Um, let's see, my other six was mathematics standard level, which I did not expect because I sucked at math, math SL <laughs> and I did really bad throughout the class. Also, oh, I look so gross right now. I did really bad throughout the class, but I don't even care because I got a freaking six on math SL, which means the curve was gigantic if I got a six. Um, but that's fine, it's a six. <laughs> I might get college credit for it, so uh, let's see. And then my fives, oh, I guess I had three sixes and three fives. Uh, my fives were biology, which is understandable. I felt like I did really good on the exam, but I might not have done perfect on like my um, internal assessment because my like really good uh, experiment for my IA, uh, I couldn't do it. I found out I couldn't do it, so I had to go with like a lame experiment. So that might have brought my grade down. So I got a five in biology, HL. Um, I got a five in visual arts, which is kind of annoying, but I'm not the best artist. I'm not James W. Turner, sadly. Um, I did decent in art. And then my last five was history of Europe, uh, crisis in communism. It's like a 20th century 
wars and Cold War and things like that, I also got a five there, which is understandable. Like history has not been my strong suit. I struggled in my advanced history classes um, for like my whole high school career, but um, <laughs> I mean, I, I got a five, and I feel like my essays were really good. Like my okay, my last IB exam was history HL paper three, and we had to write three. 40, I, I don't remember, three 50-minute essays in, like, two and a half hours? Is that how it works? Yeah, three 50-minute essays in two and a half hours, I think. And um, I remember just r finishing off my last essay. I felt like I did pretty well on that. I just wrote my last word. I proofread it. I, like, clarified if my handwriting sucked because my handwriting sucked. And I, I just sat there, and I had a couple minutes left, and... Like, as the timer was ticking down for me being done with IB forever, I, I, okay, I legit started crying. And when the timer went off that, like, the time was done, like, I was done, you could just hear the room just, like, <sighs> like, everyone was so happy. I'm gonna cry again just thinking about it. Um, and just, like, history had been, like, a really amazing but sucky experience at the same time for all the IB kids at my school like we became such a tight-knit community because we all worked on history together and stressed out and just everyone being there in that room finishing the history exam all at once and for most people it was their last IB exam like me and I legit just started crying and people were like hugging and high-fiving everyone was so happy and just made me so happy oh my god okay so I got a five in history <laughs> um I'm trying to, like, I, I looked at detailed results, but I couldn't, like, it doesn't give me, like, my IA score, I don't think. Let me see. I'm going to click on detailed results in history. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, total scaled. So, my scaled marks for history was 48, and the highest was 54. I do not know how to read this, but anyway, I got my IB diploma after basically two, three-ish, four-ish years of being in IB and IB-related classes. Um, my total points in my diploma was 35. I want to quickly Google what's the maximum amount of points. Um, I'm typing with one hand, so it's going to take forever. Maximum points for IB diploma. I can't type with one hand. Okay, sorry guys, I just, I wanna, okay. Um, highest available is 45, and I got a 35. So, I don't care if I'm missing 10 points, I am good. Um, minimum score is 24, so you have to get at least 24 points to get your diploma, I believe. So I got over 10 points more. And I'm just a very happy person right now. Like, if I didn't get that diploma, I was going to die. And this video is now eight minutes long, and I'm sorry I made an eight-minute video about my IB diploma results, but I am a very happy person, and yes, I was in advanced academics. I'm going to, like, a very science-y college now, and, but I'm still the weirdo who watches Ruby and loves Rooster Teeth, and I'm probably going to make another Ruby dance video if y'all want to see it, so... I'm just really happy right now so thank you guys so much for watching and I got my IB diploma